action. <laughs> What's up, babies? Today, I'll be taking you on a little van tour of my home on wheels. For those of you that don't already know me, my name is Sophia, and I quit my job in real estate of seven years to travel around Australia. Now, I am just shy of four weeks into my trip, and the first four weeks has been pretty slow. I've just been trying to get used to the van, get used to the new lifestyle, and just basically settle in. I haven't done a whole lot of exploring just yet but look this is a whole new world and it's been a pretty crazy ride so far so so now i'm finally ready to let everybody in and show you guys what it's all about now i want to start off by saying i did not actually build the van i was very fortunate enough to find someone in my hometown canberra that had actually already built it so they had originally built it to do the same thing it was a family of three they were going to go traveling around australia unfortunately due to covid um, they weren't able to do that so when i bought it off them i promised them i would make them proud. I don't know how long I'll be traveling Australia for, probably a minimum of 12 months, but honestly, I'll go wherever the wind takes me and I'll go for as long as I can. So today I'll be showing you where I cook, clean, eat, sleep, go to the toilet, and basically just live. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Miss Boss. Ow! <sighs> the kitchen the thing that I love about the van is actually the height I can actually fully stand up in the van and I've got friends that are 6'2 that have been in the van can stand up fully as well and what I also love about the van is the fact that I've actually got walking space I've got so much walking space okay wow that was five steps you get what I mean I can actually dance in here I can make TikToks I can do the whole lot I can have a lot of fun in here there's so much room for activities do you oh, well. <laughs> I must go on. This is my little walkway. I've got a little mirror here, so this is where I get ready. This is my fruit bag where I keep all my fruits. There's actually so much bench space. So I've got a whole lot of overhead storage. So this is where I keep all of my food. I've got the cutlery drawer, I've got the utensil drawer, I've got my plates and my bowls, and I also keep some of my tea towels in here because it's just easier to store it there. So the sink is actually a manual sink, so you have to use this pump. And the way that the sink works is under this cupboard here. I've got two containers, so one for clean water and one for dirty water. So the way that the pump actually works is that it sucks the clean water out and it gets disposed into the dirty water tank. So basically by the time the clean water tank's empty, the dirty one should be full. So then you take it out, you empty that one, and then you fill it up with new water. Now in the last four weeks, the clean water one lasted me about three weeks. It's a 20 litre tank and it did a pretty good job. I've also got a little cooktop under here, which is a portable cooktop. So I can take that out at night time or take that out whenever I want to cook and just cook up the gas and we are good to go. We've got fire, baby. So I've also got lights in the van, which is super duper helpful. I've got three down lights in total. I've got one here, which is just above the lounging area. And then I've got two that light up here, which lights up the kitchen as well as the bed. So for the purpose of the rest of the video, I'm gonna turn this light on because it helps you see me a little bit better. Now also what I absolutely love about what they've done with the kitchen is this tiling here. I was immediately drawn to this because it's super unique. It's not just like your normal tiles. And it gives it a very modern feel. I mean, the whole thing feels extremely modern to me and that's what I really loved about it. It looked like a little, it looked like a smaller version of my home. Anyone that's seen my home, you know what I'm talking about. So we've also got more storage here. This basically holds my broom, my bin, and my baseball bat. <laughs> we've got more storage above the fridge. This is basically my miscellaneous drawer. So this holds like my makeup, my chopping boards, and my pots and everything. It's such a random mix, don't. Gotta make do, sister. And we've also got our fridge. So it's just a fridge, it's not a freezer as well. Now this little baby is Amazing. It fits everything that I need for one. I don't know if you can see in there. I apologize. I did not clean. I was not expecting guests. <laughs> yes, the f I was. I just um, wanted to keep it real. Okay. It holds enough food for me for up to a week. So now here is my bed and I actually need to use a step to get up onto the bed because I'm a shawty. So this bed here is a double bed. Um, it absolutely does the job for me. It's more than enough space. I also added some fake leaves, some hanging lights and just a little bit of decoration to make it feel more like home, you know. Now I'm going to put a little snap here of what it looks 
looks like at nighttime because it is just so beautiful. It's such a vibe. It gives it a really warm feeling. The bed itself is extremely comfortable, more so probably because I put, I put an extra plush mattress topper on top of it. So this is light as a cloud. It is the most comfortable thing to sleep in. It is pretty much like my bed at home. So I've actually got two vents slash fans. So I've got a vent slash fan above the bed here and then also one in the kitchen here. So if I ever needed fresh air, I just twist this little guy and I can turn them on and I can change the setting on them. And also you can set it to auto as well, which is amazing. So for those hot nights, or if I ever just wanted fresh air in the van, it works extremely well for that. Never actually used this little guy. I haven't needed to. I've been very, very lucky because it hasn't been too hot where I've been. God, I'm dreading those days. So this is phenomenal because it's basically like a, you can put it wherever you need to. If I ever needed to use it, I'm sure I would have it pointing right at my face. But also it's got three settings, so you can go, Amazing, can you hear it? <gasps> what I'm envisioning is with one, two, three fans, if it's ever a really hot day, then hopefully it does the job. What I've also got though is a portable air cooler and ventilator. So if I ever need something a little colder, then I can actually put cold water or ice in the top of this air cooler and it actually turns it into extremely cold air. It's amazing and I can't wait to use it. This is like a little bench top. There's also two USB ports here. Charge my phone and any devices and then it's also got a little, like an input. And if I ever want to turn that on and off, I can just boop, 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 boop. This is also where I keep all of my clothes. So there's four shelves here, which is honestly heaps of space for me. Everyone saw that I pretty much sold all my stuff. So everything that I kept ended up fitting mostly in here, but I've got a couple things in storage in the back. Now over to the left and behind the kitchen, we have our toilet. So, so there's a lock on the toilet as well so that the door doesn't go flying open when you're driving. So we've also got a little light in the toilet. So this is what we call an eco toilet. So basically it is self disposable. You do have to get rid of all the waste yourself. So it separates the ones and the two. So the ones go in the front and the two goes in the back so that it doesn't turn into sewage. And it's also got a little vent here, which I love because that means that nothing really smells in here. So this would last me probably about two weeks. I actually do try as much as possible to go into public toilets um, because it's just easier for cleanup and waste. So I actually added these little hooks in here to hold some of my head scarves and my headband. So this is where I put all of my toilet rolls. I actually got this idea from the old owners. They used to just put them in there um, and they just said it's just practical. It makes so much sense. Um, and they do not move, which is great. Um, so it's a pretty decent space. It's everything you need for a toilet. So yeah, that's my toilet. Now this section here is my lounging slash dining area. So I've warmed this space up with some plantation, fairy lights, some pillows, and I love this space. Not only can you sit back and relax, but there's also a whole lot of sneaky storage underneath it. So under this section here is where I keep all of my shoes and some of my workout gear. And I've actually added a little easy access slot here. So you don't have to remove all of the cushions whenever you want to access it. It's also helpful if you've got dirty shoes and you don't want to walk them straight into the van. So you can just throw them under there and worry about them later. Now over to the back part here is where all of the power is stored. So if you're wondering, Sophia, but how do you constantly have power in the van? So there's actually two solar panels on the roof which actually allows the van to be completely self-sufficient. I've also got this little panel here which allows me to see how much the solar is charged and I've also got this power board here which helps me save as much energy as possible. So whatever I'm not using I always make sure it's just turned off. Now I've also got a swivel bench top here which is awesome because it is super space saving. So what I can do is I can actually have it perched up here like this. I can sit back, I can keep my legs up or you can swivel it out and use it in many other different ways. So obviously the most popular one is when I'm eating but what you can also do is you can swivel it this way and you've got a little bit more workspace for the bench top or you've got a little space where you can Netflix and chill. Now this little passageway is obviously to the front of the van and I've got a little hand sewn cover here thanks to the old owners. You can just pop on and nobody can see it at night time. I've also got a whole lot of overhead storage so the storage options honestly are just endless. I have way more than I actually thought I would. Turns out I didn't need to get rid of as much stuff but too late. So overhead storage, and that goes pretty far back as well. So I store a whole lot of, this is also the miscellaneous drawer. Basically everything and anything I can fit into there, it's up there. And now we have got the back of the van. Now here we have all of this extra storage space. So this is where I keep my spare clothes, buy my spare waters, cables, extra cooking appliances. And I've also got two spare 20 liter water tanks, as well as a spare diesel can for when I go out back. I also thought I'd show you all this rack that the owners installed to store your bike. I think it's pretty cool. And last but not least, I thought I'd show you all these little window covers so that I can actually pop on the windows for some extra privacy 
because obviously when I'm sleeping at night, my bed's right here, and if any of the lights are on, you'll be able to see inside. So these are incredibly helpful for just that extra bit of privacy. Ta-da! So we have now migrated to a car park because it's getting a little bit dark and time is ticking. Now on this side of the van, we've got a full length awning here and the awning's actually got a built in gutter, which I think is pretty cool. We've also got a power outlet and what I'm envisioning here, summer nights, kicking back, having dinner and watching movies. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> now on this side of the van, we've got the vent for the toilet and a power inlet in case I'm not getting enough sun to charge the solar panels. So you can just plug this in at a power site and you're good to go. And here we have our solar shower. So this tank turns cold water into warm water. So you just plug your hose in at this end the water is filled up at the rear end and you have yourself an outdoor shower. Now I thought I'd better actually talk about the van itself. So it's actually a Fiat Ducato Maxi. We've got three seats up the front here. It's a six speed manual and it's just shy of 100 k's on it. So hoping it's gonna take me all the way around Australia. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Buckle up baby because it's gonna be one heck of a ride and I'm gonna make sure of it, okay? <laughs> Love you all, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Mwah.